Welcome back friends, good morning. We're doing a few days in my life. I was going to make this a full, like, let's make my bachelorette wardrobe with me video. However, I think I'm just going to vlog and whatever happens in this video is gonna happen. I have a number of candles to make. Oh my gosh, as always, I'm so repetitive. <laughs> but I do have a good amount of orders that I need to make, so I need to do that. I actually have a pouch that I need to make, which is fun. Um, the Teddy pouch, I think three different people ordered it, so I'm gonna make one of them because that one's due to be shipped sometime soon, so I'm gonna make that one. Also want to make a couple more pouches for my launch. Oh, I really, really want to launch a first collection of this year sometime soon, but a lot of wedding things are like happening right now. So like I said, I'm making my bachelorette wardrobe, and today I want to get started on one of like my favorite or like most exciting pieces that I want to make. It's going to be this really sparkly mini dress and I have the perfect fabric for it that I've been hanging on to for oh my gosh so many years at this point and it's just like this really cute silver and white glittery sparkly top or fabric and I'm going to turn it into a mini dress and I'm very excited about it. Um, that's what I'm going to wear the first night and I want to do also like a blazer like a white blazer dress on top because obviously it's gonna be cold still. <laughs> also, I don't know if I mentioned my bachelorette's in New York City, so it's still gonna be like somewhat of the winter time. Um, so that's why I wanna make like a blazer dress to go on top of my mini sparkly dress. That's actually what I'm gonna get started on right now. Um, small business stuff is gonna have to wait because I've been trying to prioritize my wedding stuff so I don't let it just pass me by. I did go for a run this morning and it felt really good. I uh, haven't been running outside in the longest time, so it felt really good to, to be out. And it was kind of like warm-ish, it was like 40 degrees, which is warm for New Jersey at this time of the year. I need to edit some videos, I need to clean up, my wedding dress is almost done. I do need to go to Mood Fabrics at some point, that might happen on Monday, so I'll take you along with me. Lots of fun things, guys, lots of fun things. I just got finished filming a video, so my tripod was right here, and I was just filming like this. You guys have probably seen those videos, but I just filmed a um, collab with Dot Store, and um, I need to upload that. <laughs> it's a video on how to start an online candle business, which a lot of you have been asking for like little details on how to get started and my suggestions and recommendations for different things like which online like shop builder to use and just like what are the basic essential steps you need to get done to start an online candle business because I know like a lot of people do just sell in person or maybe you guys like just make candles as, ho as a hobby or you just like do little crafty things for hobbies but if you're trying to turn into a business like what are the steps you need to do to get there so that video has a lot of that I'm very excited about it and now I am procrastinating making this dress because I'm kind of nervous let me show you the fabric it's so glittery. Like low-key, it makes everything really glittery. I'm like debating if I'll need to hammer these. I don't think I will because they're not like hard pieces of glitter or anything. I don't know, we'll see. But it's this beautiful, shimmery, glittery. Oh my gosh, you can see it. You can see it, it's so pretty. Um, I have a good amount of it. I got it at a fabric warehouse here in New Jersey. So I have a good amount and it's very affordable and I'm going to make a mini dress. I was gonna make a maxi dress, but that seems like much like too much. Like I'm not going to a gala or anything. I'm going to my bachelorette party. All right, let's just, let's just do it. Okay. <laughs> I honestly thought it'd be super scary to cut into that fabric, but it was actually such a relief because I've been holding onto that fabric for too, too, too long. And finally, I can see it coming together. So I'm using a pattern called the Madison dress and it's from an Etsy seller. I've used it before. I made my birthday dress with this and 
the fabric I used wasn't like stretchy enough so I'm happy that I'm retrying out the pattern because this pat this fabric is really really stretchy so I think it's gonna come out beautifully um, I accidentally like set up the pattern in the wrong way the grain line and the bias and like the lengthwise weft and like everything kind of like still confuses me but I'm getting the hang of it I'm not like a professional seamstress sewist but I'm getting there and I enjoy it so that's all that matters anyway I cut out that dress pattern and I'm actually going to alter it a bit because I don't want it to be a full like covered back I want it to be a cowl back um and I found a really cute like info pic on mesh key it's a really expensive <laughs> like party dress brand they do other things too like wedding type stuff and it's like kind of popular I've seen it on Instagram like a good amount so I'm gonna do like a mesh key inspired glittery cowl back dress Kind of similar to my engagement party dress where I had a nice cowl back, I'll put like a picture here, but it's going to be long sleeve and like a high neck. Pretty. I don't know if I've mentioned this enough, but my standing desk is like the best thing that's ever happened to me. <laughs> I love it so much. I do everything on here and I always like adjust the, um, the height of it depending on what I'm doing. So it's like pretty high right now while I'm sitting. I'm just taking out the pins of... Um, the pins that I put in to keep the pattern pieces down on the fabric. I'm so excited! At first I was like, hmm, maybe I shouldn't make all of my outfits for my bachelorette. Ba bachelorette. Oh my gosh. This guy's kind of freaking me out. I'd rather look at her side and back rather than her boobs. I was thinking, I was like, maybe I should take the weekend off and just read my book like do the necessary things with my small business obviously and just like have that be it um but then i like just considering doing that made me kind of sad because when am i ever going to have a bachelorette ever again literally never again oh that looks cute so far Ooh, i think this is slightly too big it's okay I'd rather be too big than too small i'm covered in glitter but yeah i was like i don't know i don't want to ever regret not doing something I would rather regret doing it than not doing it so I'm gonna try to you know make what I can for a bachelorette and if I don't make every single one of my outfits it's like no big deal at least I made whatever I could this dress should be overall very easy to make because I think I just surged the pieces together and I think there's a dart that I need to put in um but that's really it sounds good to me this is the back panel. I made it a little shorter. I don't know if you could tell while I was cutting it out, but I didn't cut out the pattern all the way down to the bottom of the dress because I don't want it to be as long as, like even this is like too long. I'm gonna cut it off, but we'll see. It's a little see-through. I should add a lining, but I don't have lining and I'm trying to just use the fabric that I already have. Mm, we'll see. That's the back, where are the sleeves? This fabric is so sparkly and glittery. Can you see this? It's hard to tell. But my hands also get really sweaty easily, so like, obviously the glitter is saying to me, but like also to my clothes. So good thing I'm wearing white, because you can't really tell my black pants. I'm so excited! Alright, these are the sleeves. I did also like widen the bottom of the sleeves a little bit, because I want it to be a little bit like looser. <coughs> oh my gosh, I think I'm inhaling the glitter. <coughs> Let's sew this thing up. first try on it's way too long but that's okay we're gonna cut some of it off and then we'll use the extra fabric to make something pretty cute like the cowl back or something and it is a little bit big um it fits well but because this fabric is so stretchy i'm gonna take in the waist and a little bit of the top like a good amount and it should still be fine because it's stretchy and it's forgiving so that's the deal it's so sparkly you can't even see it's literally like like in twilight <laughs> you know when you see the vampires and their faces are all glimmery and sparkly 
That's how I feel right now. I love it. very see-through so I'm gonna have to add a lining but I don't have stretchy lining fabric so I'm gonna have to get some at some point over the next couple weeks but otherwise I really like the way it fits it's just see-through and I like the arms um, I like that they're a little bit flowy they're a little long but I kind of like it um, I might take maybe an inch or two off but I kind of like when my sleeves go like a little bit longer and they just need to finish off the collar so that was a lot easier than I thought it would be, honestly. <laughs> it's really exciting that I finished this, or, you know, almost finished this so ahead of schedule. Um, now I can move on to other things. Also, this bottom hem is not straight. I know that. I gotta fix that. But I like it. Should I make it even tighter? Like, I'm thinking of maybe adding, like, um, like a, what's it called? A tie, like, on either end, so I can, like, tie it closed a little bit more or should I just leave it like this we'll think about it and get back also I completely forgot to say that I think I might not do the cowl in the back because I really like the way it fits right now but I don't know is it kind of boring that it's just like a plain sparkly dress I mean it's definitely warmer <laughs> since there are no openings I don't know like it won't fit tightly if I do the cowl. I just sat there thinking about it for a while and I think I should do it. I'm just scared of doing it and it's good enough right now. That's why I'm not doing it but like I should do it. Challenge myself a little bit. All right let's work on it. <laughs> good morning it's the next day. Yesterday I just went out to dinner with my friend Isabella and her fiance and we did like a little double date action. I don't think I got any clips of that. I'm really really bad at vlogging in the nighttime because I just like it's my brain turns off you know. Anyway it's a new day. It's still the weekend so we have some exciting things going on. I'm going to brunch this morning. I actually already ate breakfast and we made breakfast um not breakfast we made protein pancakes um, and I made blueberry protein pancakes, which was kind of a disaster, but still delicious. Now I am running to go get some brunch with friends. I don't think I'll eat anything because I already ate breakfast, but it'll be good anyway to just catch up with them. And then I think I might hit the bookstore and Sephora and some other fun errands. <laughs> and then the rest of the day will be dedicated to small business stuff. So let's get right into it, guys. Also, my floor is completely covered in glitter because of the fabric from yesterday i really 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 need to vacuum it all up but also i'm going to be working on the dress again tomorrow once i get lining for the dress so i'm like should i just wait until tomorrow after i finish the dress to clean up we'll see we'll see how i feel but like my face was covered in glitter yesterday it was wild i think i'll take a break from sewing bachelorette stuff today maybe we'll see because i really need to fulfill some orders i have two pouches at this point that i need to make and I have a number of scrunchies, which I think are already pre-made. I just need to pack them up. And I have some candles. So, good amount of stuff. I do need to also order materials. I keep forgetting to do this. But I definitely need to order some new materials for candles. I am running out quickly. I haven't restocked materials in a very long time. So, I really should purchase things. Especially since I have a couple pop-ups coming up. I haven't announced them yet on Instagram. Because I'm not sure of, like the dates and the exact times and I'm not even sure if I'm gonna do one of them so we'll see we'll see
from brunch and now I'm just watching YouTube obviously but I'm also making candles I have to get my whole setup going but I already have my wax warmer heating up the soy wax I already set up my minis my mini vessels because right now I only have minis orders at the moment as well as pouches and a couple scrunchies but the scrunchies are done the pouches sound intimidating so we're gonna work on that maybe tonight I also have a number of things to do for wedding planning, so I need to work on my computer a bit. I have like so many pouches cut out and are ready for me to just like make them. Oh, this one's so pretty. Like, oh, I just need to do it. <sighs> so maybe sometime this week, I will get into those and make samples of each of the different, um, the different patterns. I mean, I already made this one, but all the other ones I need to make. It's just annoying that I don't have enough time. But these minis that I'm making are mainly for orders. And then I'm also making a few more orange creamsicle samples because I want to mix in some more mango. In the original formula, I didn't put that much mango, but I kind of want there to be a little bit more. I don't want it to just be orange creamsicle. I want it to be a little bit unique. So I'm going to add more mango and see if I like that. And then for the third fragrance, I know this isn't like a specifically like making my first collection of 2024 video, but... I'm gonna announce this here. <laughs> the third flavor, I'm thinking of having it be a bubble tea flavor because I feel like that's very nostalgic, at least for me. And at this point, like I feel like a lot of people know like the smell of bubble tea and it's just like a creamy milk, kind of sh creamy sugary milk fragrance along with taro. It's gonna be like a taro milk tea scent. And I think that could be the perfect like rounding out these first three nostalgic fragrances and keeping them all like sweet-ish and like playful and like dessert-like because I mean cereal isn't dessert but it I mean Fruit Loops and the way like Frosted Flakes and Lucky Charms and all those other cereals they are almost kind of like desserts now that I'm an adult I now realize how sugary they were and anyway the first three are just going to be sugary yummy dessert-like creamy flavors for like kids that have a sweet tooth, which was all of us, I feel like. So it's gonna be the cereal milk, and vanilla lavender, orange creamsicle, and mango something that I called it, I can't remember. And then the third one, I haven't come up with an official name for it yet, but it's gonna be taro bubble tea, taro boba, something along those lines. And I'm excited. So I'm gonna make the sample for the taro bubble tea as well while I have my wax warming up. When I make orders, I also like to do other things as well, just so I'm not wasting my time like heating up all this wax and setting up my whole station and everything. I like to get multiple things done at once. So that's why I'm doing all these things. The other two fragrances I'm making for orders are back, um, not backwoods, hike. It's called Cedarwood. Mm. I always forget the names of my fragrances. It's wild. Cedarwood patchouli and clove soy candle is what I call it. Um, but the actual fragrance, one of the main fragrances I use for that one is Backwoods Hike from Brambleberry. And then also I'm doing my lavender candle for an order. So that's what's going on right now. Also, I got a uh, decaf cereal milk latte from The Hive while I was out with my friends today. And then I was thinking, like, I'm not done with the nostalgia collection. I'm definitely going to add more to it. But for this first one, it's just going to be, like, sweeter things, as I've mentioned. But then for the next one, I was thinking it could be, like, a moody kind of, like, next three fragrances to introduce. This one I really love. It's called After the Rain by Brambleberry. And if I mix this with a few other, like, earthy scents, I think it could be the perfect, like, almost, like, nostalgic Sunday morning or, like, a rainy day mm, kind of scent. I don't really know exactly how to describe it, but you know when it's like you're young and there's a thunderstorm going, oh, maybe I can call it like thunderstorm something. Ooh, but just like the smell of like dampness outside, but like it's also cozy because you get to stay inside and like have a sleepover, watch movies or like whatever, like that nostalgic feeling. That's kind of what this reminds me of and mixing with a few other things. I can think, I think I can definitely like recreate that feeling. And then along those same like moody lines, I can do something else that's moody and nostalgic. Gotta, gotta brainstorm some more things. <laughs> I get into moods with YouTube and different like creators that I'm into right now. I am somehow listening to book talk YouTubers, booktubers, I guess. And right now, right now I'm listening to Destiny Sidwell while I'm making these candles. She's much younger than me, but 
I find her comforting because she just talks a lot. <laughs> she talks about books and like her life and stuff and she's into running so I don't know. That's who I'm watching right now. Let's uh, let's keep candle making. Yes, it is indeed the type of day where I'm wearing my Disneyland gray sweatshirt and PJ pants all day today, basically, <laughs> until I have to leave to shoot content, actually. <laughs> my candles are setting from yesterday. They're basically done. I need to trim off the wicks, label them, and get the ones that were for orders packed up. I also need to pack up those scrunchies that I was talking about. Haven't yet made those pouches, so those are not going out yet, even though I really, really should make them and get them out. Also, it is a very gloomy day today, so I had plans to go into the city to go to fabric stores to get lining for that dress that I was making, the sparkly one, but I don't know. It just doesn't seem like the vibe right now. On top of that, I got my period, and this is the outfit we're trying to wear all day, so one of those weeks already, and it's Monday. I am working from home. I am logging in soon. Um, I went to the gym this morning because I was in the mood for that felt good. I just posted a reel that's like romanticizing my life day one and I want to do it for 30 days. Let's see if I end up doing it for 30 days. I posted it on TikTok and Instagram so hopefully hopefully people like that. It's an editing doing my nine to five job saying cozy. I want to read my book like all day. That's all I want to do. Oh my gosh. I'm also staring at those pouch like pieces of fabric that I cut out the different designs that I really want to get out there and make samples of ugh, and I just really want to make them too on top of that yesterday when I went out to brunch with my friends I also like stopped by some stores here in Hoboken and there were a bunch where I'm like I literally should have my candles and my other products in this store like they would do so well so I was talking to some of the workers who were behind the register at some of these stores and none of them were the owners of the stores because it was a weekend i guess they just have other people working there and almost all of them said to stop by again monday to friday but a lot of them did take my name down and say that they would be happy to like take samples and they love supporting like local hoboken businesses so that could be really exciting i know i talked about doing like wholesale and getting my products into local stores like a while ago like back in I don't even know, November, December of last year. Um, but that kind of fell off because I sent out my line sheet to a bunch of stores and like no one really got back to me. So I wanted to like spend some time to make my line sheet better, get updated with like, I don't know what the actual pricing should be because I kind of like guessed out like what I should sell my products at wholesale price. I did it based on like what my costs are and like what I want to pay myself and like what profit I want to make, but that still ended up making it like more expensive. And I don't know if that's what's holding people back or if it's like the layout of my wholesale line sheet. A line sheet is basically just like a one page thing with every single one of my products like in small images and a short description and the um, MRSP, Manufacturer's Recommended Sale Price, I think is what it stands for. Uh, but basically the price that I recommend they sell the candle at and then also the price that they would be buying that product from me at and also what my minimums are. So like if they buy one candle, they can't just buy one candle. They have to buy like a dozen or two dozen or whatever my minimum is um, all on one sheet. So it's easy for them to like see. And I thought maybe my design wasn't that great and that's because I kind of put it together really quick. Maybe that's why people didn't like it, didn't seem as professional, I don't know. But talking to them in person seemed it made me more optimistic <laughs> like do i do my makeup today or do i just like leave it you know i might leave it i do need to film or um take a reel today for lulu's which is crazy 
and take some pictures, but it is raining. Like, should I do it another day? I should really do it today. I think it'll stop raining. Oh, it's definitely gonna stop raining. Oh my gosh, it's going up to 52 today. It's February in New Jersey, guys. 52 is a big deal. And then this um, coming weekend, my parents are visiting me. It's gonna go up to basically like 60 degrees. Wild. <laughs> I've been editing for a little bit and it's coming along great but the sun is starting to come out and it's bringing all the life back into me and makes me want to put on a little bit of makeup and go outside and shoot some content honestly like the sun is is so powerful <laughs> i was just talking about this with my friends yesterday at brunch literally when the sun comes out i become a different person it's not that like i like tanning or like laying out on the beach or like anything like that like literally just the sun shining through the clouds here in the city like it just it it just makes me more me <laughs> especially after having like a couple weeks in january where it was just like straight up gloomy for the full two weeks like the sun did not come out you just realize how much of an impact that has on you and then now that we've had a bunch of more sunny days i'm like it's this is like the real me <laughs> i think i have like a quarter of this vlog oh my gosh not even a quarter i'm trying to make my videos like a good amount longer because i think you guys like that more and i enjoy making longer videos it does take a good amount more editing time though maybe i'll bring my laptop to a coffee shop that could be kind of cute that might be the move <laughs> although i am still finishing up my late breakfast at this point it's a brunch situation because it's almost noon but i'm just taking my um like lunch break right now a little bit early you know what? how about we do this in order to also be a little bit productive i'll pack up those scrunchy orders that i already have done they just need to be packed up i'll head outside get some fresh air walk to the post office drop those packages off then we'll head to a coffee shop do a little bit of more editing all within my lunch break and also like take a little bit of content because i need to take um a picture and a few like videos of me in an outfit for Lulu's. I'll do that maybe at a local coffee shop where I'll be like hanging out and then also I want to go into my bookstore like my local bookstore and take some cute pictures there because I feel like I might be in my reading era guys like I feel like it's almost definitive like I'm gonna wait another month or two to like see if this reading kick sticks with me and if it does I'm going to declare this my reading era on top of it also being like my bridal era and my small business era anyway i know this girl or i follow this girl on instagram and she makes content about like being a do-it-all kind of girl or person usually like she's talking about like women in general and how we almost feel like we have to like put ourselves into this box and only be like a beauty content creator or even not even content creation related like we can only have like one hobby that we're really into like yoga we can only have one career path and for some reason we just identify ourselves as like one type of person but she does like anything and everything you can think of and she's really good at it all she has a phd or she's getting her phd i can't remember she's written a book she does content creation she kind of got viral because she froze her eggs um at i think 25 years old and talked about how like that was something really important to her. She does cute like apartment content and like hosts a lot of dinners and meals for her friends and family. She's in like a stable healthy relationship and like a few other things here and there that she just like excels at. And when you first find her, you're like, oh, she's like an intellectual type woman. But then you see other content and you're like, oh, she's like a beauty guru type woman. Every other post on her Instagram is just something entirely different. And she, now she makes content about being like a do it all kind of woman where like, yeah, you can do it all if that's what you want to do or do multiple things not just like one boxed in kind of category of things and i really like that i think that's something that i want to try to aspire to do because i also find myself feeling the need to just be a small business owner and identify as that and every time i go and like try to do something else like i shouldn't share about it or i just like shouldn't even try it because I know who I am. I'm a small business owner. I should just stick to that. But like, I can do a lot of other things too, if I wanted to. <laughs> can you tell what the sun is doing to me? It's it's doing something. All right, let's go to a coffee shop. <laughs> Guys, I don't 
don't know what just happened. I just pitched myself to another business. I don't know, I'm just walking into all these local businesses and feeling like I should pitch to them. And they always seem so interested and I'm pumped. I don't know if any of them will go anywhere, obviously, but at least I'm getting out there and like talking to them. Oh my gosh, someone's door just started talking to me. Oh, that was weird. Hi guys, I am back from my little excursion out to do some errands and also to take some content and now i'm back in my comfy clothes which is the best feeling always right now i am just going to put the labels on the candles and trim off the wicks and just make them all prepped and ready to go to package up also eating some popcorn as a snack this is the i don't even know which popcorn this is i did take the content that i was meaning to take and I think it looks pretty good. I just need to take some pictures in that outfit I was wearing. I went to the local bookstore and there happened to be this really cute area where I got some cute videos and pictures. And then I also took some pictures by the pier and also um, in the secondhand bookshop that I have in my town. I realized how lucky I am to have both a like nice local uh, like new books bookstore and then also a secondhand bookstore. I feel like that's not common. And we also have like a library obviously, which I should probably go to the library because I haven't been in a while. Uh, but I did that because I'm on a reading kick and I feel like I want to post a picture about that. Then I also stopped by Sephora, which was the craziest thing because I did not ever see the 10 year olds in real life doing their thing in Sephora. I've only ever seen it on TikTok. Um, it was actually terrifying, honestly. They were running, they were pushing me around, I felt bullied, <laughs> but they were just really excited to be in Sephora, even though like, I feel like they definitely know all the brands that are Sephora, which means they go there often, or at least like do a lot of research of like beauty products, but these girls like don't even have acne yet, like they don't need much other than maybe sunscreen. So that was kind of stressful, but I did um, just get like an additional Glossier Boy Brow because I needed that. Or I guess I wanted it. I don't actually need it, but I did run out of my old one. That I surprisingly wasn't too nervous about filming content with my tripod. I felt good about that. Oh, I also, oh my gosh, as you heard, I went to my local coffee shop, my absolute favorite coffee shop here in Hoboken, and the owner was there. I know she's the owner because I like always see her. I've been literally going to this coffee shop for the past 10 years, so I just like started recognizing the people who would come in and not necessarily like work behind the cash register, cash register, <laughs> but come in and like, I don't know, just sound like they had authority. So this one lady I kind of thought to be the owner, and I just clarified with the person behind the cash register, like, hey is that the owner she was like yeah it is and i was like cool so i went up to her and talked to her about my coffee and matcha candles and how i thought they'd be perfect for the store and at first she was like skeptical because she was like um one of the employees that works at the coffee shop her mom makes candles and offered to like potentially like do wholesale with them but the owner was like mm candles don't really have anything to do with like coffee and mind you at this coffee shop they sell a lot of other things other than coffee they also sell mugs and like coffee uh, accessories and snacks and candy and things like that um, but everything's like kind of related to coffee-ish in some sort of way but she thought like that employees mom's candles were all like very floral and like not related to, can to coffee but then when I mentioned that I'm specifically talking about my two candles that are scented as coffee and matcha she was like more interested and it sounds like she wants me to drop off a sample and give her a line sheet so i really need to get these line sheets together because it seems like there's some interest now i also think she might be interested in this like cereal milk one. Oh, this is the bubble tea one. Oh, i didn't even make i didn't make any cereal scented ones i only made the orange creamsicle which i haven't smelled yet that's good adding in more mango definitely helped yes I love it. Let's add some of these labels. I need to print out some more labels for the lavender one because uh, I don't have any, I think. Yeah, that was my little excursion. Had a great time. I'm still in the process of editing that video. Also need to do the rest of my corporate job work today. Also guys, I did decide to go with the ivory mat art jars. These are still, oh no, these are the ivory mat jars. Don't they look better? I feel like our consensus 
our consensus in the last video's comments two videos ago hmm whatever it was was that I should switch to the matte ivory I don't think anyone said to not switch at least to the people who commented so we're gonna do it and nostalgia is gonna be in this one the iridescent vessel thank you to everyone who commented what the third scent should be in the nostalgia collection the waffles and like maple syrup sunday morning one i think i will do but not in these first three i think that one is going to be um in, in a future like nostalgia drop but i love that idea <clears throat> i think that's all i can do right now cool let's pack some orders <laughs> also i completely forgot to say that i did get something um other than at sephora Oh, my tripod is not the aesthetic. I found multiple copies of the entire Crazy Rich Asians um, series, books, book series, like this. <laughs> they had multiple copies of each of these books, so I just grabbed one of each of the books. It's a trilogy, and I read half of the first one maybe a couple years ago, and then I donated it. Honestly, this might be, even be the one <laughs> that I donated, I'm not sure. But I never read the last two. I love the movie. I love the story. It's very interesting. And, and now that I'm more into reading, I think I want to try it again. So I got all those supporting a secondhand bookstore, a local business, and that's my justification for purchasing something. Thank you for listening. Also right now, I'm signing up for a pop-up shop that is going to be on April 20th. I hope I get accepted. I have never actually gotten rejected from a festival or a market or an event, which is actually, I heard, kind of crazy. Like, I heard a lot of people get waitlisted, but that's never happened to me before. Knock, knock on wood. This one I'm applying to a little bit late because I got lazy. It's not just that. I also, like, wasn't sure if I wanted, if I was, like, up for it because I still do want to, like, sew a lot of things for my wedding, my bridal, uh, bachelorette, and my honeymoon, and I kind of wanted to focus on that, but then I'm like, I don't know. I don't have to sew every single thing that I wear. I think I'd have more fun signing up for small business things and like doing that because i'm kind of neglecting it a little bit or i feel like i'm neglecting it right now so i'm signing up oh, it's very good sorry i don't know what kind of <laughs> i'll look it up and then put it here good morning guys i am indeed in the same exact outfit as yesterday and i plan to be for the rest of the day um yesterday was kind of day where i wish i'd spent all day in my pjs and just chilling at home and not doing anything but i had to get some things done today is the day where I actually just stay in my PJs and do minimal work. Minimal work as in like work I don't want to do. Obviously we're gonna get a good amount of work done. <laughs> Things like how I really wanted to go to the fabric store to get some lining for that dress I was making earlier this week and things like making pouches and just like stuff that I think will really like take a lot of effort. <laughs> I am not doing those things. Today is a self-care kind of day. I'm going to read a good amount. Update on this book and when I think of it. I am about a fourth of the way through, a little over a fourth, and I like it so far. It's interesting. There's a lot of world building obviously, but so far I am enjoying the world, <laughs> so that's good. I'm uploading a video right now and hope to have that up by 9 a.m. It's currently 8.20. Skipped out on the gym today. Woke up a little later today. Sometimes I just have these days. Obviously, we all do, but gotta be realistic about it and show you these days. I do think I will have to leave the apartment at some point today to go, I, not I think, I know. I know I'm leaving the apartment today to go drop off my wedding invitations. I'm so happy they're going out today because I really wanted them to go out like earlier this month, but that's not what ended up happening because we had some issues with like getting stamps and like the invites taking a long time to come in and everything. It's a gloomy kind of rainy day. It's just like so appropriate to be in bed all day reading my book. But some other productive things that I will need to get done is I do like while I go to the post office to drop off those invites, I also really want to drop off those scrunchie orders. I mean, I wanted to do this yesterday, but time got away from me. So we're gonna pack those up probably right as soon as I finish breakfast. I really need to make a matcha. Oh, that would feel so comforting right now to have a matcha. I need to go do that. But I wanted to upload the video first because sometimes that takes like 20 minutes. I have a lot of things to order online and that seems like kind of a task that isn't super daunting, just like online shopping basically. <laughs> but I need to get more Ara jars for my candles. I need to get some um, like stuff for my bachelorette. I want to make some t-shirts for my 
bridesmaids. I'm still deciding between t-shirts and sweatshirts because it's so annoying. <laughs> I mean, I love it, but I hate it. The fact that March is kind of like a transitional kind of month, March and April, and my bachelorette's in March, and I like didn't know what the weather would be like. At first it was looking like it would be 60 degrees, which is like pretty warm for us over here in New Jersey. So I was gonna do t-shirts, but then now I'm looking and it looks like it'll be in the 40s and 50s. So I'm thinking like sweatshirts would be better. And that's really all I have planned today. I need to make this thumbnail for my video. <sighs> Maybe I'll edit a little bit. I think I'm gonna take a day off from work today or a half day. I'm still deciding. I don't like taking last minute days off, but honestly, long story short, I have a period and it's just one of those days. I was even supposed to go into the office today and I woke up and I was like, there's absolutely no way. Absolutely not. and literally all I did since the last time I saw you was I dropped off my wedding invites in the mail and I also dropped off that one package that I packed up and I sat here. I planned all of my honeymoon outfits, most of them at least, and also my bachelorette outfits. That's still like kind of in the works because since it's actually close to my bachelorette, I know what the weather is, so some of my ideas are kind of shifting. But anyway, I planned out a lot of stuff. I did it all in Notion. I linked all the fabric I want to use. I linked all the patterns I want to use or whether it's like a self-made pattern or I'm buying it. I also linked like different inspo pictures on pinterest like i've been on pinterest all day kind of like just really what i needed out of today honestly i'm glad i did it but now it's getting closer to dinner time and i want to open this because it's just been sitting in the corner of my room for a long time and i'm really excited to open it and i was going to open it next week when i make my bachelorette gifts for my bridesmaids but i need to open it now because i want to see what they look like first of all to make sure everything came out exactly like i wanted to and also because i need to order t-shirts and sweatshirts that go along with this i didn't even explain what this is but these are ninja transfers um that's the name of the brand and it's basically a service where you can upload your different designs and they print it out on a gang sheet and instead of me needing to like use ink on my own printer or cut out htv they just give me the dtfs the digital transfer what does dtf stand for direct to film that's what it means so the ink is directly on this plastic film you will see you'll see i'm really excited because they did send this over so it's the first time i'm trying their service but i'm sure it's going to be great because i've heard great things about ninja transfers it's wrapped up like very nicely as well so i'm happy about that it's also a really big gang sheet basically i just designed this on Adobe Illustrator. Let's see how big this artboard was. It was 22 inches by 120 inches. That's big. Basically two feet by, by 10 feet. Yeah, two feet by 10 feet. That's wild. That's how long this is. Let's see how it came out. Oh, it also comes with my little... Oh, this is like a nice... Oh, oh it comes with stickers. Oh my gosh. Ninja Perma stickers for any hard product or surface. These are nice. You can't tell, but they're like 3D. They're like embossed, debossed. These are really nice. Cool. These are just instructions. So Ninja DTF transfers for soft products, meaning like t-shirts. And they give you instructions on how to cut them out and iron them onto your t-shirt, which we already know how to do, but it's good that if you didn't no then they give you some directions it also says place your transfer at medium pressure at 310 degrees fahrenheit for 15 seconds so that's really helpful i don't have to look up the temperature and then let it cool then peel it and then you just put the parchment paper on top of the t-shirt like you take off the um, plastic on top put the parchment paper on top do a final press good to go so that's like the basic 
process of putting on DTF, which is good to know that there's nothing like weird going on here. All right, I hope it looks great. Just really packaged up well. Also, this is what the whole roll looks like. Looks nice. I was considering getting DTF transfers from this brand for my business as well. Um, but I wanted to try it out for like personal use first just to make sure like I really wanted to go with it. So basically I just got one DTF gang sheet. That's what this little receipt says. Okay, okay, I'm so excited. There's absolutely no way I'll be able to show you this whole thing because of how long it is. It's just taped up to keep it closed. I should probably save this tape so I could retape it after I'm showing you guys, but we're living a kind of YOLO moment. Oh my gosh, look how cute. There's a sticker. Cute. Okay. Whoa. Wait, I love it. It's kind of big. I, I think I should have made it. Tiniest bit smaller. Wait, no, that's gonna be perfect for like an extra large t shirt. Okay, here's my vision, guys. This on the back of a t shirt or the front of a t shirt. I think that's cute. This is not for my bridesmaids, it's actually a sneak peek at a uh, design I'm working on for my business. So you saw it here first. I like that it's all green. I designed this on Canva by myself. Very proud of it. All right, let's see. See the bachelorette type stuff okay also you can see just so i explain this fully the dtf like part that sticks onto the t-shirt is on this side you could feel that it's like matte and has some sort of like some sort of texture to it and then the front this is plastic but that's what it'll look like once it gets on the t-shirt anyway let's flip this over okay okay this is pretty loud First things first, the home body club. That's what my bachelorette like t-shirts are gonna say for my bridesmaids because we're doing a staycation. We're basically saying home, we're going to New York City, which is like basically home. Um, we all live around there and I thought it'd be cute to have this. Also, I didn't want it to say like Monica's bachelorette because then they're never gonna wear it after that, but this is like a cute aesthetic like graphic tee that I think they could continue to wear afterwards so that'll go on the front the gang sheet has like multiple side by side to save space oh my gosh. only the one of the the home body club graphics is one going on each shirt on the front of the shirt all right finally here is the other end of the gang sheet and this is what i'm going to have on the back of the girls t-shirts and mine I, i'm making one for myself as well oh my god that's perfect it says let's stay home and then there are a bunch of graphics like doodles almost of my favorite things and things that like we're going to be experiencing during my bachelorette and that are like very homey and just like related to the weekend and it's all gonna go on the back of the shirt so we have like matcha a bed because we're gonna be cozy and do sleepover things i have a croissant obviously because i will be eating some croissants we got a cassette to represent like the music we're gonna be blasting glasses for mocktails and wine and whatever we drink heels for the one night we're going out to like a museum <laughs> we got a book we got bread pizza you have to have pizza in new york city fun fact i actually don't really like cheese all that much but i have been getting into pizza lately so threw that on there we're doing like a little bit of like crafting where is it oh like we're gonna like paint ceramics there's just like a lot of good vibes type things and imagine if i needed to weed this out on my cricket like imagine that would have been like with all these little lines no i could not and that's when it comes in handy to use one of these services because they literally just sent this to me and all i have to do is iron it on so simple all right i think this is gonna be perfect for an extra large either a large or an extra large t-shirt. I did make these a little too big in hindsight. I should make them smaller, but I think this will be good for like oversized t-shirts. Oh, I love it, I'm excited. I'm glad I unboxed it. So now I know exactly what types of shirts to get. I'm gonna get white or maybe ivory. Should I get white or ivory? I also get all of my blank t-shirts on jiffyshirts.com if you were wondering. How exciting. Hi guys. 
this is super embarrassing, but it's been like two full days, I think, since I've last talked on this video. And I think today's the last day I'll be filming. I think today's the last day I'll be filming this video because I want to start another video. I got a few packages in the mail that I would like to open up. So much to recap on. I'm just kidding. There's actually nothing. Um, I went to work <laughs> and went into the office the past couple days and I worked on a lot of wedding stuff. I ordered a bunch of things online. Like I just went crazy. I ordered some t-shirts that I need for my bachelorette. I ordered a bunch of vessels that I need for upcoming pop-up shops because it is officially confirmed that I'm doing that Madewell pop-up on March 16th. You heard it here first unless if I post an Instagram picture before I upload this video. But yes, first pop-up of the year, March 16th, and I'm very excited. But I'll say that, I've been reading a good amount. I've also been doing a whole bunch of like wedding prep stuff, including just like sending out emails and like signing contracts. It's like really not that much, but it's a little time consuming because I need to like think about the decisions I'm making. Oh nice, I got a new, um, this is a new heat protectant that I got from uh, Function of Beauty. I'm working with them actually, that's why I received this, which is really nice. Oh, and this is fun, it's an anti-frizz thing, I'm not sure, I've never really seen this before. Oh whoa, I have a feeling this is supposed to go in this at some point. I will read the directions. Okay, that's exciting. Oh yeah, we also sent out our wedding invites the other day. It's just all happening. I was researching some like caterers for my bridal shower. Um, I got dinner with like a friend yesterday. Well, we made dinner at his apartment because we're both trying to like not eat out as much. Okay, what's this one? This one is another Murad. Oh my gosh, I love this brand. Perfect. It's a City Skin Age Defense Broad Spectrum SPF 50. Great. I could always use more SPF. Nice little bottle. And there's something else. Whoa. It's a big one. Cellular Hydration Repair Cream. See, guys, I want product boxes like this for my brand, for my candles. These are expensive. Unless if you buy them in crazy bulk, which I'm sure these big brands do, like order them in like the thousands like the tens of thousands range and they end up getting like a good discount where each box probably doesn't amount to too much money um oh this is nice but like i don't know these things are just expensive if you're only buying like 100 units or like 500 units i like don't have space obviously in my little crafting room to have too many boxes around and packaging supplies so i can't order really big amounts and also I don't have like the capital for that like I, I can't be spending like a thousand dollars on just like product boxes you know it's like small small business issues like actual small small businesses because there are small businesses out there that are like kind of big businesses they have storefronts and they have like a lot of capital they have a lot of savings they have a big product inventory range but I consider myself like a really small 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 business um <laughs> and I think a lot of you relate to that oh I also got an invite to my friend's engagement party that's so cute just the time when everyone's getting married guys and it's very exciting for me oh this is a beautiful invite i'm not going to show you because it has a lot of like personal details on it i love this but how are you guys i feel like it's been a while it's probably only been literally five seconds since you last saw me but to me it's been a couple days so am i in the same shirt I don't, I don't even know. Tonight, I need to make pouches for those orders. Oh my gosh, those orders need to go out, like, tomorrow. Um, and then I also need to make one more scrunchie because I realized I actually ran out of the rosy pink scrunchies that I have listed right now. Um, so I need to make, I think, one or two of those. And that's, that's on the to-do list for today. Hopefully we get to it. I'm also, like, 75% of the way through Akatar. The first book, like A Court of Thorns and Roses, and I really like it. People say it's like slow and like world building, but I mean, I think it's going by like pretty quick and it's pretty entertaining. It reminds me of Beauty and the Beast and Twilight <laughs> and like the first two books of Twilight, honestly. So yeah, if you're into that, I recommend. And that's all I have to say right now. <laughs> this is extra embarrassing 
times two because it's now the next day it's a friday it's time to start a new vlog and i did not do any of the things i wanted to do yesterday sometimes this happens obviously i mean you all know the drill sometimes i have my super productive days sometimes i end up not being able to do much because of life and other things that pop up so yesterday i ended up just reading my book and we watched an episode of the new live action avatar on netflix and we like it so far but i think like all of the wedding chaos is kind of starting right now which is why things are kind of like falling off and i need to take that into account when i'm scheduling my week out but thank you so much for watching this video hopefully there were some good things in here i'm not really sure i'm going to work my corporate job for the first half of today and then do some other fun things this weekend very much a prep for my bachelorette and get orders done kind of weekend and also prep for my first collection of 2024 so i'm gonna have that all in the next vlog i'm getting some emails so i'm gonna go to that but thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one bye